course is always open with a welcome page that has a set of quick links to direct learners to modules. You can see that learners would immediately have access to things like announcements, the syllabus, modules, which is where they'll spend the majority of their time in the course, quick links to the regular technology that they use, in this case, a discussion platform called Harmonize, learner resources, which includes things like tutoring, accessibility, academic integrity, and more from Universal Learner courses, their grades, the time here in Arizona, and badges that they can earn throughout the course experience. Here you can see both the primary lecture content as well as the podcast version of the exact same content, and that is immediately followed by the transcript and a downloadable visual note guide, which is typically the slides that the instructor has used during their presentation. able to include third-party resources that help deepen the learning experience around topics discussed in the course, as well as immediately embed engaging activities like checks for understanding at the base of different pages that allow them to kind of create or use aspects of the page as flashcards in real time. So we have a lot of reading, but we've really done a nice job of making sure that it's broken up and that learners can go back and access little small tidbits of the reading to help them refresh their skills before they later on need to use that in order to create speeches. They are pulled from a larger bank, so every learner has a different quiz when they take the quiz. And they do have a couple of attempts, especially on this first one, because it will be a new assessment format for them. And we want to reduce the anxiety of taking a quiz. Learners have an album of artifacts that they can view. Each one has a picture and then a description of the artifact at hand. They pick two of the six artifacts that they're presented with, and they can read additional resources that might help them understand the society and the time period in which these artifacts were created. It helps learners understand intercultural communication. This first one here includes Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech and annotations for learners to work through about what made this speech so powerful. in this class are able to do practice speeches and get virtual feedback from the lab on their recorded submitted speeches. When learners record and submit a speech, it is processed through Harmonize. You're seeing a couple sample videos here that me and one of the instructors created just to test this out and make sure it worked well for our learners. As an instructor, I can see all videos that are posted, but a student can only see their own video and then the feedback that they've received from the lab. Here, they also have the opportunity to learn how to give feedback the same way that the lab gave them feedback. They do this through a feedback practice activity called Provide Friendly Feedback to Others. In this case, learners will watch speeches that were actually recorded by members of the comm lab and demonstrate typical speech patterns and corrections that the lab would give. So here they see a sample speech and then they can compare the feedback that they gave to the feedback that these speakers would have gotten from other mentors at the lab. 